Get in, nerds. We are playing Victoria 3. We're still playing as Legitimist France. We are actually about to get into a war in Egypt. We're only sending... We are sending t uh, a chunk of our armies. But we're also in a war over here in Mossy, so we'll be able to scramble those troops in there pretty soon. Um, Sixth French Army is uh, going to be disbanded. They're going to roll into uh, the Armée d'Afrique. Should be fine. That doesn't mess up their troop ratios, does it? No, it does not. Brilliant. Let's get these line infantry, cannon, artillery, and dragoons upgraded. Uh, that's going to mess up their organization, I think, a little bit, but that should be fine. Let's go ahead and get going here. Uh, is this telling us we have a shortage? French Third Fleet is low on org because it shouldn't exist in the first place. Uh, ammunition is expensive. Interesting. Maybe I should build myself up some additional munitions plants. The private sector is already building some. Alright, well that'll be fine then. Let's get going here. How long until this pops off? My guys are definitely going to be able to get there. And third core... I might want to send 3rd Corps to the south. In fact, my chances of wanting to do so are pretty likely. But let's see how long it takes both these armies to get in position. Yeah, no, you're definitely going to the south. Because you are going to the north. Perfect. And then once the battle in Mosi finishes... Uh, the Army d'Afrique will go to the northern front as well. There's things popping off. Come on. Let's get you to... Alright, you're already on your way to the front. You're going around that way for some reason that is unclear to me. But that's all right. Looks out for more Sangali. All right, we have a very good force comparison in the south here, so that front should sort itself pretty quickly. Let's see how things are going in the northern front. We are winning, it appears. And he's got a lot of battalions of line infantry, line infantry, and line infantry. But we've got uh, a lot of battalions of lancers, mobile artillery, line infantry, and a bunch of skirmish infantry from France. So, I'm feeling pretty confident overall in my ability to win this war. And on top of that, we have a large protectorate now, which is nice. Uh, I'm feeling pretty pleased with how that turned out overall. Let's go ahead and end this war. Uh, let me see. Army d'Afrique is going to take its sweet time going up from the south, but with the Third Corps going up to the northern front, I think we're going to be very capable of doing this. Actually, let's go ahead and slate Crete for an invasion by the Army of Africa. Wait, who's, who's coming around from the south here? Just make sure. Yes, that's the Army of Africa. All right, so go ahead and invade Crete, the Army of Africa. It's going to take seven weeks. That should be perfectly fine. Our force comparison here is really, really good. As you can see, we're we're already developing some occupation of uh, go Egyptian government territory here in Middle Egypt state. And then once we get that completed, we'll move to uh, taking over Lower Egypt, and that will probably be the game. Lower Egypt is the capital. We don't actually need to take Ankara. Um, we can probably take Lebanon uh, in pretty short order once the invasion of Crete is completed. O oh, City of Plenty. The most prominent members of Auvergne-Limousin High Society have been seen organizing luxurious parties in the new and lavish urban buildings. Marble walls, shimmering stone... The noise of people coming and going brings the city back to life when we didn't even know it was dead. Tall buildings cover the sunset. Kids play with bricks and smoke blends with the clouds. 
A distant bell announces the next train. Progress is coming. Um, just a reminder, this is 10% loyalist pops for the upper and middle strata, or I can bet that standard of living will stay high and get 25%, but the minimum expected for the upper strata will go up. I'm going to go with the second one. I'm always going to bet on that, because that's my way. And looks like we got about 30,000 loyal pops, which is really nice. Looks like the government is contested now, which is unfortunate. I wonder what has transpired here. The armed forces are in the hands of legitimists, as are the landowners. That's exciting. But the party of order is headed up by... Uh, but uh, the Catholic Church is headed up by a Democrat. Can I get you out of here somehow? Insurrectionary. Not marginalized. He's an agitator. Not too similar. Alright, well. Maybe he'll sort himself out in due time. Oh gosh, he's 34. He's going to be heading up the Catholic Church forever. Maybe they'll split up. Maybe they'll split up. Maybe the Catholic Church will bail. Maybe we can just align with them. or Well, we'll figure things out. We do have a naval battle going on here, but that's going fine. Uh, we have... I think we successfully occupied Crete. Yes, it does appear that we've successfully occupied Crete. So, let's take the Scatel du Nord and have them invade Lebanon with the Army d'Afrique now. I should sort that out. We have gotten Middle Egypt completely occupied, so the front is now in Lower Egypt. we got a battle happening here that is going very well for us, despite the tenacious defense of our enemies. And it sounds like we just took over Lebanon as well. Nice. That's a victory for us. Uh, perhaps? Is that occupation? I think it... It's partial occupation? Where are you going? Okay, you're stationed there now. Alright, so let's go ahead and have Escadule du Nord invade Sinai now. And that'll. Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to. Ridiculous. No, hold on. Stop that. Why can't I... Don't prepare the naval invasion. It's going to take forever. Okay, how about you? Can you... Alright, so you can't turn off a naval invasion once you've started preparing one. That's... Oh, cancel naval invasion. Yes, that's what I want to do. Uh, naval invade... You naval invade lower Egypt? Seven weeks. It's going to take seven weeks. Never mind. Let's just get you on the front... And we'll have you stay in the C-Node. And that should allow us to win here. We're, we're, we're pressing very close in, and we're fighting on the capital. So our enemies have war support protection, but um, they won't always. Yeah, because we don't have the capital or all of the country, which includes the capital. So the Ottoman Empire wants a defensive pact. I don't necessarily want that because... Uh, Egypt is my protectorate, and they're going to want to expand into the Ottoman Empire eventually, so... Go ahead and decline. I'm going to try to take over Tripolitania after the war in Egypt is concluded. And then we'll work on more conquests in Africa. There are some places we could go globally. How's our colonization going? Oh, I could build the Great Mosque of Tijen. I mean, that just seems sensible. We're going to build that. I'm Dijen Cat. I don't know if that's how uh, that place is even pronounced, but it's fine. Co-belligerent and default. That's just fine with me. United States side with Great Britain against the radical traditional states. United States, I don't... Or rather, here's what I should really say. Great Britain, I don't know why 
you felt like you needed America's help against the Churchill states. But, uh, you know, all you, I guess. All right, perfect. So they are very close to capitulating, making us the masters of Egypt pretty soon. And I'll be very pleased about that. Uh, within the next few weeks, I think. Beautiful. And now Egypt is in our sphere of influence. Moving right along, let's take a look at this. Alright, so we've got a defensive pact with... They've got a defensive pact with the Ottoman Empire. And also the Ionian Islands. The Ionian Islands are not at all a factor here. But the Ottoman Empire is. Um, there's the election. How does that... Uh, still contested. Yeah, and so much of that's coming from uh, government ideology penalty. Mostly about the distro power laws, because we got legitimists and democrats in the same uh, government, and that's really messing things up. So, but unfortunately, they're not going to be changing up their coalition structure until the next election, so. What are you going to do? Answer, take over Tripolitania. 6.7 infamy, we're at zero. Let's do it. Now, we'll go ahead and mobilize. Uh, second Armee is a little bit low on manpower, so we'll mobilize the Armee d'Afrique and the Third Army Corps, and we'll put them in place. And I think from there... Gold depleted in West Borneo. Set us up to speed three here. I'm going to mobilize the 1st Army Corps, station them here, and then the 2nd Army Corps, I'm going to mobilize, actually, maybe better for me to station the 2nd Army Corps in southern France, and bring the 3rd Army Corps, and bring the 1st Army Corps into the action. Serving so a Piedmont sides with Tripolitania. Okay, all right, all right, okay. So, I'm gonna put you on the front here. We're gonna put First Army on the front here. Sure, I'll 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 take you out, Tripolitania. I'll 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 freaking I'll freaking destroy you. Don't think I won't. Let's go ahead and raise our conscripts for the Third Army. Um, Army of Africa does not yet have conscripts. Can I set some up? We've got plenty of conscription capacity due to having high internal security. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and set up a basic conscription system for this army. We'll do 5, 10, and... Um, uh, sorry, 15, 10, and 5, same as we've been doing with our other armies. Let's not make things too complicated here. And yeah, we'll raise um, we'll raise the Army of Africa's conscripts. That is, this is going to cost us just a barrel full of money. On Rampire sides of Tripolitania, no one's shocked by that. We'll see where they put their armies, though. So who can I sway in on this? Got quite a few countries that are interested in joining my side. Primarily Austria, Spain, or Netherlands. Let's bring in Austria. All right. War goals? What do they want for war goals? They want a treaty port, inserting a Piedmont or the Ottoman Empire. All right, that's an interesting idea. Transfer subjects. They want he Egypt. Yeah, no thank you. Um, so the obligations, they want an obligation. So yeah, let's go with a war goal. Let's go with a treaty port. Let's go with a treaty port in Sardinia Piedmont. And let's put it in Piedmont. This is going to give them a bunch of infamy. But that's alright with me. Could put it in Sardinia. 
Now let's put it in Piedmont. We know that's going to be a main front. I might be about to kick off a general European war. Cool. Austria has sided with me. So hopefully this means Sardinia and Piedmont will bail. I'm hoping it means they bail. So I can get what I want, regardless. Sardinia and Piedmont being out of it pretty quickly is not necessarily bad for me. Um, Alright, we got Ottoman troops going to the fronts uh, in Sardinia and Piedmont. That's not shocking. This one's probably going to the Sardinia Corsica front. Um, let's get my other fleet over here. Scott de la Mentorigne is where it's supposed to be. All right, so let's throw extra commanders. Uh, no, we got two commanders here. So you're going to raid, and uh, and if there's enemy raiding there, we'll change you up. Uh, we'll switch you over to raiding as well. Are you good at raiding? Naval commander, explorer, naval commander. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing specific. All right. Let's get this going. Wonderful. Austria is helping us out a lot with this. Curiously, not manning this front as well as they could be. All right, there we go. They got troops there. Beautiful. A lot of trade routes have been removed due to this war being about to pop off. There's a peasant revolt dividing Prussia in two. <laughs> I couldn't get a protectorate over Prussia, but Lord knows I would love to be able to do that. That would be very funny to me. Second Corps is a little outmanned here, so I'm going to put them on defense. And once they've been able to successfully recruit up to their normal limits, things should be fine. I could still theoretically sway Spain. So what do you want, Spain? You want the transfer of South Cameroon. Nope. Don't, don't care for that much. Prussia wants an obligation against the Prussian Peasant Revolt. I don't, I don't need a war over there right now, Prussia. I'm, I'm in the middle of something here. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm in the middle of something over here. I'm in the middle of something. I'm doing my own thing. Costs are continuing to increase. A little shy of the amount of authority I want to have. To bankroll us. Now that is ridiculously tempting. But that would create another front for me, and I can't really afford to have one. So, unfortunately, it just is what it is. I would love to be a massive drain on Prussia's economy, but I simply can't afford to at the moment. Alright, looks like we got a slightly better force comparison here, so I'm going to set second army to advance. Sweden sides with Prussia. You know what? I might raise conscripts in the Second Corps as well. Because this army is a little short on its strength, and I'm not really sure why. So let's do it. I have not currently raised conscripts in the First Corps. Um, third Corps is raised. Army of Africa is raised. It's, it's, we're going to be spending a lot of money here, but I think it's going to be worth it overall. Bunch of different countries are neutral. That's just fine. It looks like I'm going to have command of the seas. There's a fleet here, which is going to be... Which is going to be what it is. Let's get going. If I can get Sardinia Piedmont... If I can get Piedmont the state fully occupied reasonably quickly... Yeah, well, I'm not going to worry too much about those. Uh, we do have a free government reform through the recent election, but I can't really get a good uh, government, so we'll just we'll let it be for now. So how are the battles going? How's things going in Sardinia? Sardinia, we are winning. Um, battle in Sardinia Piedmont. Austrian troops are winning over there. Uh, we are losing over here, but for some reason we only put one... Uh, uh, battalion in there, and that's... Oh my goodness. What? Oh, no, this is an enemy army. Alright, I'm not worried about that. I thought that was one of ours. I was like, what happened? What happened? Württemberg sides with Prussia. Well, you get him, Württemberg. 
You can do it. I believe in you. Hey, realism. Just some time to paint some really realistic art about this horrific war we're about to fight. Huzzah! You'll get to see... Th everyone will get to see the effects of the new uh, shrapnel artillery on the war... on the... Uh, on the battlefield. That's very good. Also got a war happening... a battle happening over here between... It's like skirmish and line infantry, if I'm not mistaken. Austrian troops win there as well. Brilliant. All right, so we're actually doing very well against Sardinia Piedmont and very well against Tripoli. Um, Ottoman troops are fighting over here. I'm actually going to take the Mediterranean Squadron and reassign them to the Central Mediterranean. And that should allow us to get rid of them. Very good, winning our battle over here in Tripoli. So yeah, so we've got occupation here in Tripoli. And I believe Tripoli is the capital of Tripolitania. So I'm actually feeling very confident here overall. Austria has completely occupied uh, Piedmont. So we're just mopping up different bits of Sardinia Piedmont at this point. We've almost got Sardinia fully occupied, Austrian troops are pressing into the Ottoman Empire. So I feel like, yeah, we're doing we're doing basically very well. I would love to have gotten that all that free cash from Prussia, but I wanted to make sure this was a sure thing, because having a full hegemony over northern Africa is going to be really, really beneficial for us on the whole. Um, as you can see, uh, Tripoli does not have war support protection, nor does Sardinia Piedmont. Um, they're going to be losing war support pretty rapidly now that they're mostly occupied. Uh, it seems as though my armies are going all which way. We're actually going to send these guys to... Yes, all right, they are on their way to the Ottoman front. Force comparison here in Tripolitania looks very, very good, so I'm completely pleased with... I'm completely satisfied with how that's turned out. We are winning a battle on the ocean. Austrian and French troops are continuing to push forward here against the Ottomans, so that should be fine. Winning a battle here. So that should put Tripolitania in the bag. Alright, now we've got... Oh, nice. Sports. Um, Sardinia Piedmont is losing 9 uh, war support per week. Uh, Tripolitania is officially our vassal. Let's go ahead and improve relations with them and Egypt as well. Just remember to start doing that. Alright, so Austria got their treaty port in Genoa. Um, we got our protectorate over Tripolitania. So, things are going well. Our units have demobilized, so that's made our finances much better. We're only building one building right now. We're pretty low on infamy. So being that we're pretty low on infamy, what can we do? We can... What is happening with you? Duchy Cindy's, you're in a war with Britain? For the transfer of Jambi, Yogyakarta, and Yogyakarta, and the conquest of Dutch Guiana and Dutch Ghana? I completely missed this. I wonder if I don't have an interest set up that I should. I could set up more interests, frankly. Yeah, we'll set up some more interests. Alright, that should be enough. So, we're improving relations with our new vassals. I could... Re Ooh, the Marina Kingdom I could be my protectorate as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What kind of an army do you have? You have a large army, but is it a real army? Hussars and irregular infantry. Hussars and irregular infantry. Your force comparison is not good, my friend. How would you like to be French? I can't stop conquering places. We're actually going to send... The 
Yeah, we're going to mobilize the army of Africa and get them doing this. So we're going to station these units in here. And we're going to have the Northern Squadron here. So that they'll be in place when the time comes. It's going to be a bunch of infamy, but we're actually pretty low on infamy right now. No one's really interested in getting involved in this. I'm pretty pleased about that overall. Ottoman Empire wants a trade agreement. I accept. Sorry, we had to fight. It wasn't anything personal. I just... I wanted a North African hegemony, and... You happen to have a defensive pact with Tripolitania, which you still do, and which I encourage you to continue to do. We got one with Wallachia as well. That's pretty neat. Man, if Italy ever unites, they're going to be big mad at me. We have a new guy trying to make autocracy happen. Stop trying to make autocracy happen. It's Christoph Marast. Any new places I can colonize? I could colonize either of these places, but I think they're all, um, they've all got, um, what you call it, malaria. I can grab Borgu. Oh no, I don't own Dahomey yet. Never mind. I'm getting, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, but I'm feeling very, very full of beans about this whole, uh, my whole general situation. With that having been said, I think I need to start building again. Uh, Silk trade continues to increase and that's bringing in just a ton of cash I can build gold mines in inner Morocco oh heck yes oh I didn't even realize I had gold mine potential condensing pump engine nitroglycerin oh boy I think after this I need to research dynamite because I uh nitro is really dangerous I'm gonna need to go there next Actually, we're going to need to knock out baking powder and then go to dynamite. Sorry, I said I was going to build buildings and I just didn't. What else does the market need? Right, we were going to build some more, uh, some more silk plantations because there's just so much silk that all of our European neighbors wishes, wish to purchase at an extreme price. Um, all of the growth in the silk output of our plantations has been from trade routes. Which is absolutely absurd, but it is what it is. So as we can see, nobody's getting involved in this. UK is going after John B. Two arms. Doing a quick pause here just to get this naval invasion underway. Going to go in North Madagascar. We're going to send the army to Afrique. I don't anticipate this being difficult. Why am I short on authority? Did, did my main guy become a problem? Do people hate Henri de Bourbon now? A little bit. A little bit they do. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Hee <laughs> hee! You started a native uprising. Nice. I've been thinking about reducing the autonomy of some of these countries here in Southeast Asia, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, I think they're just fine as protectorates of mine, and I'm perfectly happy with having them be protectorates. My temptation to fight Great Britain for uh, Guiana is very high. But I could also do some expansion in South America. Maybe I could grab a protectorate over Venezuela or something. That would be fun. That would be fun. I've already got uh, IT as a protectorate. I could grab Hawaii. Are you a protectorate of anyone, Hawaii? You're not. I could grab Hawaii. I'm feeling very aggressive in this run. How's the naval invasion? We got 26% progress. Here's a battle. Looking like it's going pretty well. We've got a very significant technological advantage here. Very nice. Very nice. And the enemy is in retreat. Wonderful. 
We've also dealt a lot of casualties to them, which means that they're, uh, they're very much in, uh, they're very much low on, on war support at this point. Yeah, because they're taking a bunch of casualties. Another battle here going swimmingly for us. We're blundering, but it's fine. Our overwhelming superiority in numbers and technology is going to carry the day, regardless of our terrible generalship. A rare but fortunate situation for us to be in as a country. Ooh, big old battle here. Um, I don't think that's a great place to set up your defenses, guys. I don't think that's I, I don't think that's vital territory for the for the for the. Okay, <laughs> that was very funny. Whoa, 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 skedaddle. Oh, they're going right where they're supposed to be. As you can see, the enemy's army is very low on strength overall, which I'm pleased about. I'm feeling very successful about that. Second Corps has pretty much gotten itself fully resolved again, which is nice. Though it's low on Lancers, which is a bit odd. Marina Kingdom is nearly capitulated. Oh, oh, oh. Something going on with the Dirty Indies? Oh, I guess. It's a native uprising. Not worried about that. Thought I might have been worried about it. Actually, am not. Beautiful. And then. Last but not. Well, they're willing to be a protectorate now, so let's do it. No, uh, no reason to take over the entire country. No, no value to that. Scott of Nord, are you coming back? Going that way. Someone build the Suez Canal? Did someone build some, some kind of Suez Canal? There's no Suez Canal. Where are you going? Oh, no, that's the Armée d'Afrique. You are not going anywhere. Alright. Excellent. All right, so that was a nice, refreshing episode. We did three wars, uh, one assisting the rebels in Egypt uh, and them becoming a protectorate in exchange, one making Tripolitania a protectorate against Sardinia Piedmont to the Ottoman Empire, and one against the Marina Kingdom, making them a protectorate. Um, we've got a strong network of protectorates. We're still not over... We're still not close to being over the UK. How much prestige are we getting from these protectorates? Okay, so we're not actually getting much because they're protectorates. Not uh, dominions or puppets, which is a shame. But it means that I could really catapult up there in overall prestige if I turned them into dominions, which I might do. On the other hand, like I don't, I don't want to get, I don't want to mess up their economies. Frankly, I just. I don't. We have catapulted ahead of Great Britain in terms of overall strength. We've taken a bunch of countries into our markets, so I think next episode we're going to really need to look into what the market requirements of our customs union are and try to fulfill them. Because right now, France is an extremely productive country. We're focusing on increasing silk output, which is very good for the economy overall. It's bringing in a lot of foreign cash, and our finances have never been better as a country as a result. But... Uh, I think one thing that will be necessary in the medium term is to figure out what we're importing a lot of and try to produce it domestically so that we're not as reliant on foreign trade and having a better trade balance will help us out with a lot of that stuff. Um, as you can see, the French market is, uh, has got a lot of North Africa under it as well as quite a bit of Southeast Asia. Um, we'll definitely find ways to increase that market over time. But for now, I've had fun. I hope you all have had fun. And I will see you on the other side.